G'day guys and welcome back to this True Footy AFL Evolution career for this highly anticipated clash between the West Coast Eagles and the GWS Giants at Optus Stadium. Currently the Eagles remain, I think it's 9-0, and I can't actually remember. It's 9-0 or 10-0. Uh, undefeated this Today, season, West coming Coast off the back of a huge win away from Giants. home against the Gold Coast Suns, which was our 63-point win, was our to uh, biggest win of the year so far. But we've got a huge clash against one of the Premiership fancies this year, and unfortunately we're going to have to do it without best on ground last week, Tim Kelly. We had 19 possessions. He's twisted his ankle. He's out for three weeks, which puts him out for this game against GWS. And then, unfortunately, he's not going to make the trip next week to play Collingwood at the G. So this is probably our hardest block or hardest fortnight throughout the rest of the season. Um, so this is going to be a tough ask without Kelly, Shui, or Nat Nui. Um, and young Xavier O'Neill comes in to make his debut for in the midfield for the West Coast Eagles. That, that might be him on screen. Doesn't look anything like him, uh, which makes sense because he was just a second-year draftee this year. Um, I think he's number 24. Um, I might, yeah, I think he's 24. Um, so look out for him, guys, making his debut. This would put the Eagles just about almost pinching a top eight spot um, without even reaching the bye yet. So this has been a really good season so far. Let's see how they go against a genuine contender in the Giants. Handball's out in front. Dishes it off to a player on the run. On the ball, surely. The double tackle on Lockie Whitfield from Liam Ryan and whoever that was is effective. And the Eagles have a chance to start the scoring with a goal. He's going to go close. Is it? Oh, yes, I thought he hit the post. The animation makes it look like he hit the post. The Eagles are on the board. He's got the football now. Opportunity for the goal. Oh, the Giants are going to run into an open goal through the ball. And they get the response. It's been a gritty game so far. Oh, he's found some overlap here. There is a free man. There's free man everywhere for the Giants. He's spotted him up. Sam Reid, who's been prominent so far, should put this through the middle. Good shot on goal. He's done it. The Giants now lead by six. All right, Duggan. Can he find someone short? Preferably to find someone tall. Well, that's a good kick. JK should grab that. That is a great pass by Duggan. He's recruited for his quality foot skills going inside 50. And he has put them on show today as Kennedy kicks and scores the goal. Scores the goal. Kicks the goal. Not soccer. Kicks hurriedly. Oh, it's going to be a foot race. Liam Ryan's there. Can he get there? He needs to be quick. He should get there. Puts on the afterburners. Takes a bounce and should pop it through for a bottom. Yikes. Oh, I didn't even think I was sprinting then. Williams slaps it away. Controlled well off the bounce. Well, that is a timely hand pass. That is a great goal too. Josh Kelly oozes class as a player. We've seen it on display there. What a belter though. Brando no gets the kick. Oh, there's free eagles everywhere. He's taken the uncontested grab. Can he find Archie running into an open goal, basically? He's going to go and patiently take the kick because of his badness last time. This is actually not completely safe. He's just squeezed it home. The eagles get Bam back, and it is one point in the margin. Canelio wins the clearance. Spilled over the back. That is a fortuitous bounce for whoever that was, and that is a fantastic goal. Jezza Cameron with the instant reply puts the Giants back out to seven points. That was class. Redden with a bit of space here. Can he find? Is it Allen? It should be Allen. It is Allen. Needs to steady the kick here. There's not really too much breeze impacting this kick. It's just a matter of accuracy. That looks pretty good. He's got it, and it's one point the margin once again. Uh -oh. Here we go. The Giants should. Oh, that is actually a very good snap. Daniel Lloyd probably made it tougher than he needed to. I feel like he could have run around into an open goal. But he's turned around and snapped it. Oh, this. 
O'Neill on debut takes the mark. Can he find a free player? It's a tough kick. It's a very good kick. Liam Ryan, that's one of the best kicks of the day. One of the best kicks in the 50 of the season. Xavier O'Neill is recruited because he's a smooth moving, classy midfielder. Has Liam Ryan paid off his work? He has. We're back to two points. He's going goal for goal. Jetta with the speed. Can he find someone with a long kick? He can. That is a beautiful kick. Oh, he's just been spoiled. Oh, Jamie Cripps, don't tell me. Good play from the Eagles. Looks up with the kick. Gets past the tackle. A clean pickup. Allen gets it out of congestion. He's just banged it on the boot. Jamie gets Cripps has somehow still all by himself. He goes and dribbles at home. The Eagles are out to eight points. That was pure ass from Oscar Allen. Just bombing it long. And there happened to be Jamie Cripps all by himself for some reason. Moves the ball by oh, this might find him. Good Dom Sheed is just the man in front. And with three goals and potentially under a minute, the Eagles could start to control this game. He goes for broke. The kick towards goal. Oh, he's just oh, snuck it through, goal. too. That was dicey. It is a great he kick from Dom Sheed, doesn't he? Oh, poor handball there. The oh, it's alright. They're going to score a goal anyway. That was average defence by me. Average will play from everyone involved with really, it all around. That could be holding the ball. Camera angle betrayed me. And Toby Green takes the grab after all that. He's going to line up for goal. He's put it through and the Giants trail by just two points now. Elliot Yo drives the ball deep. Cripper. Can he do something? He's got a bit of pace about him. Or oh, JK could do this. Oh, that is a very good kick. I hope that's a goal. It's a goal. One of the better goals of the season from any Eagles player that I've been able to pull off. That was a beauty. Oh, dangerous ball there. I think it was JK. And McGovern is not quite quick enough. Sam Reid burns him off. And it's back to a one-point margin. Oh, that is a good kick. It's just too good for all of them. Oh, that is really good shepherding. Unfortunately for me, and Toby Green runs into an open goal. Brander gets put on his ass. The Giants are five points in front. Oh, O'Neill on debut has put it through. Yes. What a great goal from a youngster coming at a great time to kick your first goal in AFL football. He's played really, really well. He's just got out the back of the stoppage, run into a fairly open goal. He's put the Eagles back in front by one point in a hugely important game for the season. Really high stakes. That is a very, very memorable first goal. Oh, he kicked the goal. Thumps it clear. Redden controlled the difficult ball. Hickey comes away with the ball. Oh, is that going to go? Oh, the Eagles have hit the front through a weird snap from Tom Hickey. Sure of the next move. Oh, this is a bad kick. Doing well. And he's marked it. Petrocelli. To have the shot from outside 50. That's a great kick. The Eagles are out to eight points. The handball hits the target. Hurried kick. Gets it away. Missed the target. Tell you what, it's a hot footy. Petrocelli, can he make them pay? That looks straight in. It is a good kick. 14 points. The Eagles have fingertips on this game. This would be a very, very good effort. Oh, he's nailed it. That was fantastic. That was brilliant. Oscar Allen's almost sealed it for these Eagles. Oh, wow. Don't tell me that's going through. That is an amazing goal from Josh Kelly. Just like that, the margin's back to seven points. These Giants might actually have more of a sniff than we thought. 
the contest. Up for grabs for Taranto. The Giants have all the momentum the here. They're stringing into an open goal almost. Works it across the Sam Reid. Oh, they're toying with them. They don't quite have that time. Josh Kelly has played an amazing game. He's a serious candidate for the three-vote performance here today with at least two good goals. He's missed a couple of others, but he set up some really good play. He's kicked an important clutch goal for the Giants there, and it's a one-point ball game here at Optus Stadium. Oh, all the momentum is going one way. Sam Reid's tore us a new one. Oh, he shrugged him off, Jeremy Cameron. The Giants are in front. Who would have thought from where they were just a mere two minutes ago? They've kicked four goals in quick succession. Jeremy Cameron has three. Josh Kelly has three. And the Giants are on the brink of ending the Eagles' winning streak. Darling's out there long. Can finally get isolating? He's taking a good grab there. Should I go for the barrel? Would that just add drama to this game if I kick the barrel? Oh, he's probably miscued that. When I say probably, I mean definitely miscued that. But there's a chance of a mark here. Oh, that, that was definitely delivered out of bounds. Wow, the umpire's missed an obvious one. Oh, he's... What's happened here? Oh, the siren's gone! Just as he's run into an open goal. That was costly. I can't believe that just happened. That is amazing telly. I tell you what, the Giants have ended the Eagles run with their, one of their first wins in Perth. Probably their first win at Optus Stadium off the top of my head. The Eagles can only scratch their head and wonder how we blew that lead in the final five or so minutes of the game. And then Liam Duggins, the ball's in his hand as he's about to dribble through the match winner which would have given us a one-point win. But there you have it, folks. The Giants deserving winners. Either side really deserved to win, but although if you look at the Giants, for me having missed five more shots on goal, that was sort of told the tale of their efficiency. Let's have a look at the player of the match with Stephen Cornelio. No surprise there. Josh Kelly, second best. And Liam Ryan was huge in the first half, but kind of tailed away as we look at the, yeah, Liam Ryan and Oscar Allen had three for us. Stephen Keneally had 16 touches. Josh Kelly was amazing. I probably would have given him the three votes, but Keneally was pretty dominant too. So there you have it, guys, as we end this episode of the True Footy AFL Evo career. The Eagles are two points, sorry, two wins clear of Collingwood, who is their next opponent. The Giants retain a spot in the top four on the back of that gutsy win. I still can't get over how dramatic that finish was. But next week, we take on Collingwood at the G going into the bye. Hope to see you there, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.